Hello, welcome back you guys. This is Ashley Morgan with Aqua Starlight Oracle. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is gonna be a collective reading you guys for this new moon and Pisces coming up. Ooh, we got a new moon energy you guys. New moons are all about brand new beginnings, starting over at a clean slate. It's all about romance and love and relationships which is symbolizing the seventh house. So look at where your seventh house is and your astrological chart. This is gonna to point to your love life, your relationships, your karma in that area, and what is gonna be playing out for you in your love life, okay? So we're almost at the end of February. Happy birthday to all of my Pisces out there. I'm wishing you an amazing birthday. I hope you have lots of fun and celebrate. This is gonna be a great time for you guys. So if anyone's watching my video that is a Pisces, happy birthday, love you so much. You have beautiful blessings coming your way. It's a new start for Pisces. We just ended Aquarius season, you guys, which was an amazing time. We're going through a major transition in our love lives, okay? So I'm sure you guys will resonate with these messages. Now, this is gonna be specifically for the new moon in Pisces. It's on February 19th and February 20th. 2023 okay so happy birthday you guys i love you all my beautiful aquariuses if you had a birthday i hope you guys had lots of fun and you know went out and had a great time and we are welcoming in pisces season so this new moon in pisces you guys this is really a time to focus on self-love as usual we need to keep focusing on nourishing and loving ourselves, doing the things that we feel passionate about, that we enjoy, keep moving forward in this new cycle, okay? We have all brand new beginnings coming in. So I'm gonna be using my Light Sears Tarot deck for you guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this one I actually got for Christmas in December. It's called The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. A lot of you guys know this deck, it's quite famous. Many tarot readers use this in their videos. So we're gonna be using that for the collective reading for you guys. And I'm also gonna be using my romance angel oracle cards okay so we pulled a few messages for you guys these are my romance angel oracle cards by doreen virtue beautiful you guys sorry it's cut off there on the side i've had these forever but we pulled a few love messages towards the end of the video so we'll go over that at the very end okay so please take a moment you guys to like and subscribe to my channel as it gets the messages out there and builds the channel I really appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos um, whenever I post them. Please share them out to loved ones so they can get the messages as well. All right, you guys, so let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the Light Sears Tarot and we're gonna go through the messages that came out for you guys for this new moon in Pisces. So this is an exciting time, you guys. Love is in the air. There's a lot of magical new beginnings that are coming in. A lot of things that we're not even expecting to happen are gonna be happening by the end of February and in March with Pisces season, okay? So there's a lot of things that we're closing out in our lives. We're ending karmic cycles. Uh, we've closed out soul contracts. Um, we've been focusing on self-love for quite some time, you guys. Um, but I am sensing that there is a new beginning in your love life, in your romantic life, okay? So the first message we're starting off with for you guys in the collective is the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups has a couple different meanings, you guys. So take it as it resonates for you, okay? The Ace of Cups does represent a new beginning in love. This can be a new love entering into your life that you're gonna have um, this beautiful soul connection with, okay? So for some of you guys, it is a new love entering into your life. For others of you, this could be a reconciliation with someone from your past that you've been with before, okay? So the Ace of Cups represents a new beginning in love, it's something that makes your heart and soul happy, you know, makes your heart sing with joy. This is also representing self love and nourishing your heart at this time as well, okay? So let's go ahead and read the meaning between the Ace of Cups. Uh, for the Ace of Cups, and we're gonna see what that is saying for you guys. And I'm also gonna give you, of course, my own intuitive guidance and channeled messages that I get from Spirit, okay? So the Ace of Cups is like the first card in the suit of the cups and the tarot. Now, I feel what I'm picking up for you guys is a lot of you in the collective went through a breakup or a separation or maybe even a divorce and you ended a relationship and you've been really focused on yourself. You've been nourishing, grounding your energy, focusing on self-love and self-care and really just trying to 
fill yourself with this energy of love and happiness and 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 also i'm getting self-acceptance focusing on you know the parts of you that need to heal things that you need to release and let go of in your life that are no longer serving you okay but i do see a new beginning in love whether this is a new love or a reconciliation with someone that you know from the past. There is love coming in in Pisces season, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the Ace of Cups, you guys, and I'm gonna read that to you. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is new connections, new romantic relationships, friendships, seeds of love and hope, newfound emotions, awakening the heart, joy, positive outcomes, oneness, bliss, and creativity. So the Ace of Cups can also represent a new creative endeavor, a new job, a new career path, because it's something that you feel very passionate for. It's something that you love, something you enjoy doing. So some of you guys could be you know, meeting new friends, uh, new connections in your life. You could be really focusing on new creative endeavors that make you really happy. So um, for others of you, it's a time to nourish yourself and focus on self-love, making sure that you aren't repressing your emotions and opening up to the possibility of love in your life, okay? So an extremely positive message of vibrant new beginnings with the Ace of Cups. It marks the genesis of relationships, emotional connections, and deep feelings of love and friendship. Your emotions are powerful magic, you guys. They're saying to cultivate your ability to call on expansive, optimistic, and profoundly radiant feelings and consciously send your heart waves out into the world. So as you guys are focusing on nourishing yourself and loving yourself, you wanna send these powerful heart waves out into the world, okay? It creates new love and new opportunities to come into your life when you're in this highest vibration of self-love and self-care. They will become powerful beacons for awakening new adventures, romance and the effusive joy that you're calling into your life your capacity for love is expanding so check in and make sure you aren't repressing your ability to connect with others as a result of being overly protective yeah so some of you guys may be protecting your heart because you've been hurt in the past from a breakup or something you've gone through but spirit is saying to expand your heart out into the universe keep your heart open and keep vibrating at the highest expression of love okay so mindfully extend the love you feel to your own heart as well forgive yourself for past mistakes and find a fountainhead for healing with copious moments of self-acceptance get ready to expand exciting affinities are emerging and it's time to open up and you give yourself permission to deepen your kinship with the life around you wow you guys that's a very powerful message i do feel for you guys though with this new moon in pisces that a lot of you guys had to release and let go of karmic contracts, um, partners maybe that were not in alignment with who you are or were not treating you with respect, okay? There was a lot of toxic situations and people from our past that we were dealing with. So a lot of you guys are opening up to new love at this time, okay? For others of you, it will be a reconciliation with a past lover. Um, maybe if there was no closure between you guys or there's been no communication and you both are thinking a lot about each other, Spirit is saying you're manifesting this new beginning in love with this person okay now the next message i have for you guys is temperance and this is representing sagittarius energy this is a really beautiful card you guys absolutely amazing for this new moon in pisces this is all about um divine timing things happening in their own divine timing when they're meant to happen it's requiring a lot of patience self-discipline self-control really owning your power um it does represent alchemical uh balance connections okay so let's read a little bit of temperance you guys and we're gonna see what that is saying but with the ace of cups and temperance i feel like a lot of you guys have been waiting for love you've been trying to focus on yourself at this time for maybe you know a certain amount of months or years for some of you guys you may have been really focused on being self uh you know independent and self-sufficient and really just focusing on 
filling your own cup of joy and happiness within yourself. And temperance is all about patience and balance and divine timing, okay? So let's see what temperance is saying for you guys. Yeah, this is really beautiful reading already. So temperance is about alchemy, blending energies, harmony, moderation, masculine and feminine balance, duality, the fluidity of time, meditation, the perpetual motion of life, New, new, neutrality, restraint, patience, and purpose. Okay, so temperance is about the alchemist of life, and it calls you to create your purposeful blend using moderation and patience as ingredients. Where are you focusing your precious energy right now? Maybe you've been overdoing it in your social life, okay? So there's a need for you. Um, they're saying focusing on a relationship that is depleting more energy than it is replenishing. So you guys may need to really focus on self-love and just, you know, replenishing your energy if you feel depleted from a person or a situation from your past or someone that you've currently been dealing with, okay? Um, Spirit is saying we live in a world of extreme passions and heated hustle. So slowing down the desire for excess in any one area of your life may be harder than you think. Don't do drastic things right now. Stay away from all or nothing choices. Clearing your energy of extremes will foster a dynamic, nourishing flow that is aligned with your perfect alchemical purpose. Seek equilibrium and be mindful of your resources while fusing all the elements to achieve a beautiful balance. Okay, the other meaning I'm getting for you guys, um, without reading this in my book, you guys, because you know, with tarot books, they have their own meaning of the cards. But when I do a reading, you guys, because I do work as a psychic advisor, um, I've been doing this forever for like the past five years, okay? Whenever I see the Ace of Cups and Temperance, I do see there could be a reconciliation coming in for you. So a lot of you guys are wondering about about a past love, someone that you were really in love with that you could have been in a relationship with for a, a long amount of time. You could have known this person since childhood or there's some sort of deep soul connection. I do feel there's reconciliation that is happening with this new moon in Pisces. So that could be playing out for you guys literally by the end of February or in the beginning of March 2023, it feels like you're coming together with someone. Now, for others of you that are not focused on love and you're just wanting to be independent and focus on your own energy, this is about you... Um, pretty much coming into balance with your masculine energy and your feminine energy within yourself. So I get for a lot of you guys, you're restoring balance within yourself on an emotional level, okay? And then for others of you that have been waiting on love, there could be a reconciliation coming in from a past person. Or a llot of you guys are waiting for someone new to come into your life and you're just focusing on yourself, okay? So for everyone, it's going to be different. We all can't have the same situation, of course, in the world. So some of you guys, it is coming back together with a past person. Others of you, you're focusing on yourself and bringing yourself this love and happiness within and you're creating this balance within your masculine and feminine energy to get you into alignment with a new soulmate or a new love, okay? Now, we also have the Eight of Cups that came out for you guys in the collective. So the Eight of Cups is walking away from a relationship, a person, a situation that was not serving your highest good. So as you can see, this girl is like completely walking away from her past self. She's walking away from something here and she's walking towards the sun, her happiness and fulfillment, okay? So let's go ahead and read the Eight of Cups, you guys. I'm gonna zone in on this card so you can see it more clear. And we're gonna see exactly what this is talking about for you guys. Now, for me, the Eight of Cups is... um. It can be a past person returning back into your life that wants to give the relationship uh, another chance. They want to work on this connection. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. So for some of you, that is going to be taking place during this time. For others, you had to walk away from a relationship and you're not looking back. You're looking forward to new beginnings and love. You're focusing on walking towards your happiness, which is the sunshine here, okay? So let's see the Eight of Cups and we're going to see what that is saying. All right, so 
letting go, releasing that which no longer serves you, a ritual releasing, a time to move stuck energy, walking away, leaving your old reality to pursue a new one, abandonment and disappointment. Wow. Okay. So some of you guys had to walk away from a person. Uh, specifically, you did have to walk away from a relationship that was not serving your highest good. Maybe it was toxic. Maybe this person abandoned you or they made you feel abandoned or emotionally neglected, or you could have been the one that walked away. Okay. So this is about with this, uh, new moon in Pisces. This energy is really about releasing stuck energy, letting go of the past. I've been saying this in all my videos, you guys. This is really a time to walk away from things that are no longer in alignment with who you are and where you're going in this new cycle of your evolutionary journey. This is about disappointment and sadness as well. A lot of you guys had to walk away from a soulmate, a twin flame, someone that you felt this really deep connection with, like an unbreakable bond, and it brought you a lot of pain and sadness to let this person go but you really had to so that you could walk towards your happiness and to walk towards the things in your life that are going to make you feel emotionally satisfied and really bring you a sense of stability and commitment okay so she has released her last cup into the sea and her bowl burning ceremony is over. Is it time to walk away from something in your life? Choosing your sacred dream, especially when you're feeling disappointed, is one of the biggest acts of self-love that you can enact. When you take that very first step, you begin to choose yourself. There is nothing more healing or more powerful. Find your resolve and untether any anchors that are holding you back. Though your disillusioned heart may require some TLC, you can realign your path by shedding outgrown expectations, hopes, belief, ideas, beliefs, guilt, or ways of being. If you find yourself exhausted or confused or jumping from thing to thing, know that you are entering a mystical period of intense shifting and that releasing old stories will help you to travel lightly go in the direction of epic dreams happiness and greater meaning so the affirmation you guys is i walk away from negativity and i choose myself in a rebellious act of self-love wow this is powerful you guys so with the ace of cups temperance and now the eight of cups we have someone here that is walking away from all of these things in her life that is no longer serving okay a lot of you guys did have to walk away from a job a person uh, maybe a long-term marriage or relationship that you were in it could have brought you a lot of feelings of sadness and disappointment but it's bringing you into this like rebellious act of self-love that's what a lot of you guys had to do it was almost like rebelling against this okay because you needed to search for your own happiness and self-love within yourself so you can find something greater on the other side okay so a lot of you guys um you're really focusing on nourishing and loving yourself and just being in balance within your own self okay now the next message i have for you guys is the let me see i think i i think one of them fell on the floor hold on yep one of them fell on the floor. Hold on, you guys. Spirit is talking, you guys. They're like falling all over the place. Okay, so the next message I have for you guys is the Fool. This is representing Aries energy. The Fool represents new beginnings in your life, taking this leap of faith, stepping out of your comfort zone. It's about stepping into the unknown, into uncharted territory, okay? So what I'm getting from Spirit with this Eight of Cups and now the Fool coming out, and the Fool actually came underneath the Ace of Cups. Okay, so the fool is representing a new beginning in love. A lot of you guys are choosing to focus on self love until you find um, the right partner that is ready to commit to you, that is ready to bring you, um, you know, that happiness and joy that you're searching for. We can only find this within ourselves, you guys, but you can come into, as you come into an alignment with your divine masculine and feminine energy, when you know who you are and you're true to your own authentic self. Self, this is when you find your soulmate or twin flame this is when you just you're aligning with the universe you see how she's like in this perfect balance and flow and she's just taking this leap of faith and she's really believing in who she is and what she can do this is all about fresh new beginnings and love okay so let's read a little bit of the full really quick you guys I'm curious what it's saying for you in my book and I'm also going to continue to give you my own interpretation of the fool as well. Okay, but I feel like a lot of you guys 
are focusing on new connections, new love, new friendships. And for others of you that are wanting someone back from your past, you could be, they could be taking a leap of faith towards you to communicate and you guys may be coming back together to balance out this connection, okay? So the fool is representing new beginnings, potential adventures, enthusiasm, awakening, innocence, and optimism. So this is a time with the new moon in Pisces, you guys, to really be faithful, uh, be, be in this energy of faith, not faithful, but be in this energy of optimism, faith in the universe, having faith in yourself, believing in yourself, owning your power, okay, being in this divine flow and alchemy of life, okay? So every dream achieved begins with the seemingly foolish notion that there's something bigger out there, something greater to explore and to become. This childlike optimism comes from deep within your knowing and it reminds you that you can achieve all the magical things that you've been dreaming about the journey of the soul begins with a single step and you may find yourself on the edge of an epic journey T turn toward your future with enthusiasm and know that a divine leap of faith is required in order to claim the reward that the abyss is offering you may not feel ready you may not be ready but there's magic in the air and the universe is waiting to support you with infinite love and guidance wow you guys that is so gorgeous i love it so trust your intuition as you swan dive into the seed of potential you see how she's like about to dive into this cosmic flower here it's absolutely beautiful you guys and she's holding like an amethyst crystal in her hand so a lot of you guys could be like working with crystals, grounding your energy, feeling more free, feeling more lighthearted and optimistic about love. And if you don't feel this way, you guys, spirit is advising you to really take this leap of faith and just focus on this new beginning in your life. Where does that you want to go? What you want to experience next? Okay. They're saying, I am ready for this adventure down my soul path. Yes. So a lot of us are moving into brand new beginnings and love you guys. And we're really finding who it is that we truly are we're learning to be in our freedom own our personal power and just take this leap of faith and trust in the universe and what what they have for us what they're here to offer us so there's magic and love in the air you guys this is a beautiful new beginning now we have the eight of wands coming out for you guys and this is representing um communication fast movement things moving forward at a really quick pace for you so the eight of wands as you guys know if you read tarot a lot of times the eight of wands represents someone reaching out and communicating. It represents fast communication coming in. And for others of you with this fool, with you taking this leap of faith and starting a new journey, you could be um, opening up new possibilities uh, to meet a new love, for communication coming in, new soul connections, new friendships. And for others of you, this is someone taking a leap of faith towards you to communicate with this new moon in Pisces, okay? So let's go ahead and read the Eight of Wands, you guys. And we're going to see what that says for you. Wands. And the Eight of Wands. Wands represents fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? So the Wands is all about action, communication, taking the initiative. So the Eight of Wands is saying speed, velocity, travel, making split-second decisions, and upcoming positive resolution, haste, and good news. Wow. Some of you guys may be receiving good news from someone at this time as well. So this is representing action. You know those moments in life that feel like a sprint? This type of speedy energy is at play. It's inspirational, it's fiery, it's positive, and it's now. If you have a gut feeling that needs to be acted upon, listen to it. With all of this movement avoid being swept along by an unpredictable tide by having clarity about your desires and direction harness this beautiful window of swift opportunity in shadow the eight of wands suggests there's some sticky energy influencing your situation you want to move back but if your foot's not stuck in the mud, then you've, it says, then you've locked your keys in the car. Am I right? Okay, that's so funny. If you're fluctuating between having a tendency to hesitate and running so fast that you're burning out, it's time to bring some balance momentum into your propulsion. 
Consistent movement that feels right in your heart is the best place to start. So this is representing, they're saying it's go time. Some of you guys need to take this leap of faith into a new journey in your life. You may need to take action towards something that you want, but this really to me represents, um, communication coming in from many of you guys okay so some of you guys uh someone is ready to reach out and communicate with you and have this new beginning in love and take this leap of for, uh, faith towards you to maybe tell you how they feel about you how they've always missed you how much they love you how much they want to reconcile and come back together with you so for a lot of you guys like i said in the beginning starting with the ace of cups this is a new beginning in love a lot of you guys someone new could be reaching out and communicating and they want to start something with you and then for others this is like someone from the past that is ready to take this leap of faith and communicate with you so i do see that in the month of february whether it's the beginning and this has happened for you or it's the end of february a lot of you guys there is communication and fast movement coming towards you from someone that you've known before in your past and for others of you this is like a brand new person that you could be dating someone you're getting to know right now or just it happens out of the blue. So there's gonna be like really quick decisions um, or quick action coming towards you, but a lot of you guys could be making decisions at this time in love specifically, okay? So the next message I have for you guys is the Four of Cups. <laughs> and as you can see, you guys, um, this girl here is quite discontent, okay? This represents boredom, feeling discontent, feeling emotionally neglected. It can also represent feeling abandoned by someone from the past. So she's really unhappy with her current situation, okay? So a lot of you guys could have felt like you missed an opportunity in love or the person that is reaching out and communicating with you, they're unhappy with their lives. They're not feeling emotionally satisfied or content with the way things are right now in their love life. And they're wanting to reach out and communicate with you because they really miss your energy. They miss being around you. They want to reconnect with you. They want to talk to you. They want to have a heart to heart conversation. So definitely for a lot of you guys, this is someone coming back around that is really feeling sad and disappointed from what happened. And they want to come in and they want to express their their love to you okay so let's read the four cups you guys and we'll get more details and see what that is saying for you okay all right four of cups and cups represents pisces cancer scorpio it's water sign energy so the four of cups is saying for you guys with this new moon in pisces missing out on opportunities for abundance a time to meditate frustration and boredom being a brat not appreciating what you have Apathy, introspection, stability leading to boredom. A lot of you guys could be focusing on your money and finances or you're working a lot and you just feel like something is missing in your life. You feel really bored. You feel discontent. Maybe you want to start something new because you're tired of the way your life is, the way things are going. And for others of you, you feel like you missed out on a love opportunity with someone, you know, and you're really missing this person. And I do see them reaching out to communicate with you because they're feeling exactly the same way that you are, okay? So Spirit is saying, if you are finding yourself bored, unsatisfied, or frustrated with your current situation, know that you are likely missing the vibrant landscapes that are present just beyond your peripheral vision. Often we become so focused on our own inner, internal perspectives that our feelings about a situation can prevent us from noticing the arrival of extraordinary opportunities and remarkable things. If you remain open to shifting ever so slightly in order to see your situation in a fantastic new light, you will learn that the present moment is filled with the most dynamic magic. Instead of focusing on what you don't have right now, focus on what you do have. Even better, spend energy focusing your thoughts on the experiences that you will create in the future. Taking time to meditate and slow your mind will show you that life is better than it seems. It's up to you to shift into the abundance available to you right now. So this is about seeing the fullness and richness of your life, what spirit is offering you, okay? So as you can see, you guys, there's quite a bit happening in this picture, okay? So this is like how she feels like her life is, okay? So she's looking in that direction direction very kind of boring like blah right no excitement feels like there's no happiness this is the way she is currently seeing her life this is her perspective on 
where her mind is at, where she's at on an emotional level. She's not seeing the other side over here that is filled with rainbows and uh, exciting opportunities and passion and love. So we're really needing to shift our perspective at this time, you guys, and really focus on the abundance that you currently have in your life and the future opportunities that are coming your way. So there is a need to shift your emotional energy and even your mindset at this time and, and really release past energy and things that have brought you this feeling of sadness or disappointment and move into new opportunities that are going to shift your perspective and bring you into a higher awareness of all the abundance and magic that is in your life waiting for you. Okay. So that's a really beautiful message. You guys, um, now I chose a, a couple last messages for like bonus messages for the outcome for what you guys can expect with this new moon in Pisces. And we got the Knight of Cups. I love this card, you guys, it's so cute. Look at this guy, how adorable. He's got like tats, he's very handsome, he's like a Prince Charming. So the Knight of Cups represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of you guys could be dealing with a water sign from the past, or there could be someone you're dating currently that maybe is a water sign, it doesn't have to be. But the Knight of Cups is someone who is like a knight in shining armor that is coming in to sweep you off of your feet. So I'm getting from spirit, a lot of you guys are looking the other direction and you're kind of like in this energy of disappointment and you're not even seeing that this is coming, okay? So a lot of you guys, this could be like an unexpected surprise where, where this person like sends you a message, an email, a text, or they show up at your door with red roses or flowers. He's got like a little uh, picnic over here, you guys, with wine and there's a little love message or envelope. So some of you guys may receive a love message from this person. And for a lot of you, I am picking up as someone from your past that you were already in a romantic relationship with. And they're wanting to come in and tell you how they feel. They're wanting to express their love, express their feelings for you. Um, some of you guys may get a, may, may even get a proposal or they may just say, you know, I've missed you so much. I can't find anyone else like you. I really want to be with you. I want to make this work. So a lot of you guys, there is um, a love offer coming your way this month in February with this new moon in Pisces. And for others of you that are not wanting new love or that are not wanting a past person to come back or you don't want, you know, a reconciliation, this can just be like dating. The Knight of Cups can also be just like someone new that you're dating, um, that wants to really focus on dating you and making things maybe more committed or coming into a relationship with you. So take it as it resonates, but a lot of you guys are feeling quite discontent or bored in your love life and there is a love offer coming in that I feel is going to be unexpected with this new moon in Pisces, okay? Now after the Knight of Cups, you guys, we have the Four of Swords and this is an energy of healing, resting, meditation, rejuvenation. Um, this is about <clears throat> broken heart. A lot of you guys see how there's like this red heart and there's this red cord that's attached, okay? So this is an energy of healing. A lot of you guys had to heal from a relationship or a breakup that you went through and you, you've been in this period of kind of nesting. You know how she's like in this, like a bird nest it looks like? So a lot of you guys have been nesting. You've been like sleeping resting maybe a lot there was a lot of crying or grieving over this past person um this is also representing wanting to heal a relationship wanting to heal a situation from your past okay so let's read the four of swords really quick you guys and then i have a couple last messages for this new moon in pisces and then i'll end my video um and the Four of Swords represents Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Swords is like mental, intellectual energy, but this is an energy of healing the heart chakra and rejuvenating your mind, your heart, your body. I feel like a lot of you guys had to go through this resting and healing um, after a breakup that you went through, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the Four of Swords... It says, okay, the Four of Swords is saying a time of deep rest, transmutation of shadow, healing from burnout, taking a brief holiday from your reality, renewal, and self-love. Yeah, so this is an energy, I feel like you guys have already, a lot of you have been in this energy of self-love and renewal and focusing on healing your heart chakra, focusing on nourishing yourself, loving you. Maybe I'm getting even healing uh, inner childhood wounds, healing... Uh, just healing your heart center, healing your overall energy from whatever this 
breakup separation was okay a lot of you guys went through this energy of healing and a lot of you guys are still in this energy of healing yourself okay so this is a deep resting period in your life it marks a moment of intentional healing and self-care more than just integral to your wellness it is integral to your being at this time body mind and spirit how you heal is your choice and you can find quiet regeneration through sleep or other restorative practices like meditation journaling energy healing etc so spirit is saying i give myself permission to slow down and heal yeah a lot of you guys i'm getting you've just been in this energy of releasing the past releasing toxic karmic situations that you were in for quite some time and you had to release and let go of these soul contracts because you know the contract was complete it was not serving you anymore you went through a lot of um some people went through a lot of like control issues with people or man manipulation playing mind games um narcissism cheating lying there was some form of deception that you need to heal you needed to heal through okay now the other message that came out is the three of swords so that's how i know that you guys are healing from a breakup you had a broken heart from this situation you guys have felt very heartbroken. This was a really intense energy that you had to go through. So the three of swords, it does represent feeling heartbroken, sadness, loss, this feeling of disappointment. This girl feels like she's screaming. She's like screaming over here and her heart is broken, okay? There's like all these dead trees and there's a lot going on in this picture, okay? So this is a really hard energy to be in for you guys. Um, so a lot of you guys could be feeling this heartbreak or separation from a loved one. For others of you, I'm getting you could have even uh, lost someone in your life, like there was a death or loss of a loved one and you're trying to heal from this. Um, there's a lot of grieving and healing that is taking place. For others of you, you were in a third party situation. For some of you guys, this person could have been married that you were with and you didn't know, or they could have had like someone on the side that they were with or seeing, and it was a third party that you were dealing with. So there was cheating, lying, deception. But a third party, you guys, that could be so many things. This could also be that someone is married to their job or they're more materialistic, they're married to their money, and that's what you were dealing with. But for others of you, there was literal cheating or deception or something going Going on here and your heart just felt completely broken and so you had to heal from this connection okay now that was coming out for you guys but like I said with the ace of cups coming out and that knight of cups in there there's definitely a love offer coming in you guys so if you're if you were with someone that was cheating lying and very deceptive and you cannot trust this person and they have not got any sort of therapy or counseling or it hasn't changed at all then you do need to release and let go of this person and you do need to focus on self-love and self-care but I do see new love coming into your life with someone who you know appreciates you they want to make a commitment to you they want to show you their love they want to express their feelings to you okay and then for others of you in the collective you could have went through a heartbreak but you guys may have someone reaching out to you from your past that wants to heal this with you that wants to work on this connection and bring this connection back together okay now Oh my God. The last messages that came out for you guys, um, they're coming from my romance angel oracle deck. The first one that is coming out is passion. So there is someone here, you guys, that has a lot of passion for you. They may be very sexual, very lustful for you at this time. They may want to come in and like sweep you off your feet. And I was getting that with the Knight of Cups too. Someone is coming coming in offering you a gift, maybe bringing you flowers or expressing their love. Um, they have a lot of passion for you, you guys. So if this is new love or it's a past person, you know, take it as it resonates. But Spirit is saying, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like this is going to make you guys really happy because you also feel, feel very sexual and passionate towards this person. So, I mean, look at how much passion going on here. So for a lot of you guys, by the end of February with this new moon in Pisces, um, there's a lot of passionate energy coming in. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Or I'm also picking up water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person has some very deep emotions for you and they want to show you love at this time, okay? They may come in and want to have sex with you or just express a lot of feelings. I feel like they want to be intimate with you. They want to hold you. They want to kiss you. They want to touch you. They want to be close to you. So that's a really beautiful energy, you guys. Um, the other one that came out is you deserve love. 
you are lovable, okay? So this message is saying, Spirit is letting you know, this is Cupid's arrow, okay? So there is love coming towards you. Whether this is a new person or a past person, there's definitely love. This is Cupid's arrow, and it's coming right at you. So love is definitely coming your way, and you need to know that you're deserving of love, that you're worthy of love, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. We also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is all about... This this person coming in, they are worth waiting for. This could be a soulmate or a twin flame, someone that is really deeply bonded to you. It's a soul connection. This person like has never got you off their mind. They have so much love and passion for you and they're ready to come in and offer you commitment. They're ready to offer you something and this person is definitely your person. They're worth waiting for is what spirit is saying, okay? And we did, ha we did have that temperance card that came out, you guys, and this is also a confirmation about about divine timing so now is the right time for this to happen maybe it's been quite a long time for you guys since you've been in separation from this person and now there's like this big energy shift happening with the moon and Pisces and this is a time for this person to come back in and they feel like it's their time to express their feelings and really tell you that they want this relationship with you, okay? So this person is worth waiting for. Now the last one we have is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So a lot of you guys could have been dealing with an unrequited love situation from your past, okay? So for many of you guys, this is a past situation of someone you were in a marriage or a long-term relationship with and it didn't end like the way that you thought it would a lot of you guys didn't get closure and it could have been like a cat and mouse situation where there was a runner and a chaser so someone was running away from the connection and escaping i'm getting this was the masculine and the feminine could have been chasing this male okay we never want to chase anybody you guys know your self-worth and value even with the masculine you don't need to chase a feminine and feminine you don't need to chase a masculine if someone is a true love like they're meant to be in your life they're meant to be your life partner you're, you're not going to need to run after this person there's going to be a mutual love and respect for each other and you're both going to want to be with each other so there shouldn't be any running or chasing going on but some of you guys were dealing with someone that was not offering you commitment they could have been manipulating playing mind games with you they could have had other options and they weren't telling you there's something very sneaky about this person okay so it's not necessarily the best energy but there is like a soulmate connection between you and this person you've known this person in a past life you have a lot of deep love for them you want to be with them look how this girl looks she's like really <laughs> <laughs> she's like is he for real is this real like does he really want this with me she doesn't really know what to believe that's what I feel like a lot of feminines are going through you don't know what to believe about this person because they come off very charming they make you these love offers but they don't come through with what they say or what they're offering you so it's a very unrequited love situation but <laughs> It looks like it's coming back to be dealt with. So a lot of you guys, you may just need closure with this person so you can move on into new love and find what it is you're looking for, your true happiness. For others of you, this is what you want. You want to work on the situation with this person and you want a new connection with them. You want to make it work. You want to reconcile. So for all of you guys, it will be different, but something is not finished okay something is not closed out with you and another person okay so something with this new moon in pisces you guys this could happen at the end of february or the beginning of march with the moon energy you never know you know um with timing you never really get a correct accurate time it could be at any time uh these energies uh it could literally be on the new moon in Pisces on the 20th. It could be at the very, very end of February. It could be the beginning of March. Whenever this is playing out for you guys, I definitely feel someone from your past is coming back to make you a love offer. They've realized how they feel about you. They want a new beginning. And then for others of you that do not want this connection, there's new love coming in. So either way, you guys, there's love and magic in the, in the air either way, okay? So a lot of you guys, it will be a reconciliation and that's entirely up to you if you want to make this work with this person and you want a new beginning or you can choose to have new love in your life and release the past and let go. It feels like with the new moon in Pisces, it's a choice that you're going to have to make what you want for yourself and what is going to be in your highest good. But I am getting from spirit to make sure that whoever you choose, you're in alignment with this person, okay? So make sure that 
you and this person want the same things out of this relationship so if you want a commitment and they don't then obviously this wouldn't be the right person for you and it won't work if this person is emotionally immature or you know they're deceptive or they're manipulative obviously you don't want to take that person back so you need to use your own discernment okay so some of you guys do want this person and if that's what you want then spirit is saying this person's gonna come back now if you don't want this like I said you need to choose yourself and focus on loving you and there still will be someone new coming into your life okay so love is around the corner you guys i'm wishing you a beautiful rest of the month in february happy pisces season happy birthday to all of my beautiful pisces and i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i'll see you next time bye